Welcome back, my name is Carrie, and today I've got an update on manufactured home pricing. Besides being a place for me to laugh at my own jokes, I created this channel to share information about manufactured homes that might be of value for people who are in the market to buy. Stuff like who to buy from, what to look for, when to buy, as well as information I get from suppliers and contacts about pricing. We are coming up on what is usually one of the best times of the year to buy, and I was all ready to tell you about a small window that can greatly increase your chances of scoring a deal. However, literally when I was doing some research for this video, I got a comment from a viewer who said that the manufactured home they were going to buy had jumped up $16,000 overnight. 2021 being 2021, I decided I'd better check in with my sources before running my mouth off because if I've learned anything this year, it's that nothing seems to be playing out the way it normally would, so why would this be any different? True to form, it looks like the same will be the case with deal season, so instead of the possibility of getting a great deal on a new manufactured home, it looks like buyers might be seeing one possibly two price increases. What I'm gonna do is tell you what I think is normally one of the best times to buy a new manufactured home and why that may not be the case this year. So let's do it. If this was a normal year, we would be approaching what I think is one of the best times to buy a manufactured home. Even though it looks like this year might be pushed, it's still worth mentioning because even if you don't buy a new home this year, you might buy one next year or the year after that. In my experience, an easy way to increase your chances of getting a deal on a manufactured home is to buy in the month of December. Think about it, most buyers switch into full-on Christmas mode, only thinking about holiday parties, shopping, turkey and eggnog. I'm speaking from experience when I say that there are not many people out shopping for a new home in that time frame, and even less pulling the trigger. And that's exactly what you want as a buyer. In the manufactured home industry, most people are either owner operators or work on commission and would love nothing more than to ink one more deal before the end of the year. Not only that, but it gets the ball rolling for the following year. Manufactured homes typically boom and bust throughout the year, so if they can schedule one early into the following year, it spreads out deliveries and in theory allows the business to finish more homes the following year. Orders are usually flat out in the spring for deliveries in the late spring, summer, and fall, which means factories are slammed, trucking companies are slammed, and setup crews, slammed. Normally, planning your delivery for the shoulder season before things go crazy helps avoid possible delays from people being overbooked at every step of the process. December and even into early January are the months that I think the buyer has the most bargaining power in any normal year. And normal years will be back, so set a reminder if you wanna use this tip down the road. Now, let's look at what we can expect in an abnormal year. I contacted one of my sources who has been amazing at sharing information for the channel to help potential buyers understand what the heck is happening with prices. With his position in the manufactured home industry, he gets the info that affects the prices before anyone, so these updates haven't officially been sent out to dealers yet, likely because final numbers on the price increase haven't been decided. What it comes down to is based on the information he's seen, factories will be increasing their prices in December and likely again in January, which essentially eliminates any chance of scoring a sweet Christmas deal. Some manufacturers do use different suppliers for different brand materials, so what's affecting one factory might not affect another factory the exact same way at the exact same time. But manufactured home builders, tiny home builders, and site builders are all using more or less the same materials to build a home. Windows, siding, insulation. So I'm assuming what is affecting this industry will affect all three industries with the recent set of problems. Let's have a look at what's going on. Over the course of the year, building material suppliers have used a clause in most contracts called force major. Probably not how it's pronounced, but deal with it. What that clause has allowed suppliers to do is basically break their contracts because of the current circumstances we're living in. It's defined as a clause that is included in contracts to remove liability for natural and unavoidable catastrophes that interrupt the expected course of events and prevent participants from fulfilling obligations. So anyone who had that sneaky little bugger in their contracts opted not to fulfill their obligations under their current pricing and implemented price increases as needed, a reaction to the changing market conditions. The poor saps who didn't have that clause in their contracts have been taking a beating all year long, but as we near the end of the year, those contracts are set to expire. The email states, 
we are now seeing the few remaining contracts for 2021 pricing that were not modified due to force major related reasons expire and our 2022 input costs will hit us in January. An example given of one such input cost was insulation, which is set to increase by 10%. Then some items are being increased a second or third time by suppliers. It's noted in the email that last week, windows went up another 10% after previously being increased 20% earlier this year. To make matters worse, it seems like he He's predicting that their costs will go up more, but materials aren't the only thing affecting the prices. Despite a valiant effort to attract more applicants, they're having a hard time hiring enough people to build their houses. The US labor market is a real challenge. We need to hire, but even though we have increased wages, we are not getting the applicants we need. That's after advertising higher wages, increasing emphasis on efficiency and capacity bonuses, and paying referral bonuses. An article from Yahoo Finance says that employers are rolling out the red carpet to attract new workers and that the traditional ways of attracting new employees, like raising pay, aren't necessarily effective. It then goes on to say what is the most enticing benefit to attract new workers right now and it's something the factory hasn't even tried yet remote work. Obviously remote work isn't an option for most people in a company that builds manufactured and modular homes in a factory, and so they might have to lay on other benefits like increased pay thicker to compete with companies where it is. If further increase in wages to attract enough people to build the homes that people are trying to buy is the only option, it's the only option. But every increased cost on the build results in an increase in the final price. Instead of coming into the best months to buy, there is a chance manufactured home prices will be increased in December and then again in January. Listen, I don't enjoy coming on here and being the ultimate buzzkill for everyone in the market to buy a new manufactured home, and I certainly don't do it to create any urgency on your purchase. I do it because I've never seen another year with as many price increases as we're seeing this year, and I'm trying to help people make sense of what's going on and give them the information they need to make a logical decision that's best for their current situation. These increases aren't specific to manufactured homes. The same issues are causing problems for site builders and many other industries. When these price increases officially take effect, I will let you know how much they are. And if I hear of anything else affecting the manufactured home market, this channel will be the place to find it. That's all I've got for today. If you like manufactured home videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I've got new ones coming out every single week. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.